I just have one simple question. Where are all the new movies? Seriously! Chase Liaki here with the Blue Futon going over the box office predictions of February 9th to the 11th. And this one, we technically have one wide release and a couple re-releases. The biggest re-release, I think, is Dune, the original one. Not the original one, but the one for D Denise of the Nube, the 4DX one. I might go see that in 4DX because I've never watched it in 4DX. Then we have Anyone But You, the Valentine's Day edition. Sure, another re-release, but then the big new movie is Lisa Frankenstein. And yes, I saw Lisa Frankenstein, and honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I, it, To me, it just treated the audience like they were idiots overall, stupid characters, and Yes, people are like, oh, it's supposed to be unintentional. I'm like, eh, debatable. Anyway, let's see how I did last weekend. All right, I did okay. I did okay. Okay, number five was actually migration with 4.1. I thought Mean Girls was going to make it in there. I was dead wrong. Number five, four, sorry, ha, was Wonka with 4.6. I guess 4.5. So at least I got that number right. All right, Mean Girls, I was thinking it was due 4.7. Mean Girls is dropping a lot harder than I thought. That's a 3.8. Beekeepers was number three with 5.2, and I was guessing 5.0. So rock on, rock on. Number two, of course, was the chosen out. I was guessing 10 million. It only did 9 point, uh, 5.9, but I guess it's good for a TV show. A couple episodes. Can't go wrong there. All right, Argyle. A lot of people thought it was going to be over 25 million. I said, nah, fam. Uh, it was 17.4. Even less than I thought. I was thinking 22.5. Here's the thing. Argyle, the third act to me, just doesn't work what so freaking ever. So anyway, I got four out of the six right. Uh, so sure, that's fine. Barely fine. Anyway, let's look at this next weekend, which is Super Bowl weekend. So we got to watch out for the drops. All right, number five. I'm going with Migration with 3.5. I mean, if Migration's in the top five last week and we were only getting one real wide release, why would Migration leave? All right, number four, Wonka with 3.8. I think another solid, I mean, very minimal drop for Wonka. Why else would I think differently? Because it's been consistent for the past freaking month. Number three, Beekeeper 4.0. This is another one where it's solid 20, 25% drops. I mean, could Super Bowl weekend hurt it? Maybe, but again, I think it'll still do solid. Number two, Argyle. I'm going with about a 65% drop of going $7 million. I think Apple screwed up with this $200 million movie. Where that money went, who the hell knows. The number one, Lisa Frankenstein. I'm going about $11 million. I think I might be overzealous. Like I said, I saw it. Wasn't the biggest fan. Of course, it might be a good movie for the anti-Super Bowl people. You know, the females. So we will see what happens there. Anyway, quick recap. Number five, Migration, 3.5. Number four, Wonka, 3.8. Number three, Beekeeper, 4.0. Number two, Argyle, 7.0. And number one, Lisa Frankenstein, 11.0. And there you have it, the box office predictions for this weekend. Chase Lee Hockey, here's the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know things, Blue Futontopia. You Blue Futonians, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And I'll keep watching. Stay tomorrow. We found one for a year from now. I see a freaking one of you. Enjoy life. What do you think is going to happen? To me, the only one that leaves is the Chosen because when you look at the pass, it does drop pretty significantly after the first weekend.